Hence, we label learners for what they are and not who they are. We look at where they come from and not the possibility of where they can go. This is an evidence of a teaching system that lacks a sense of purpose. Good day everyone and um, thank you for tuning in. My name is Ayola Bangani and uh, I'll just like to take up a few minutes of your time to just um, share with you the purpose in educating. You see, one of the goals we have here in Bright Minds is that we help students and learners to learn in a way that enables them to use what they've learned to solve problems. In other words, we instill a mentality of problem solving. You see, there is a shortage of problem solvers, a shortage of innovators all around the world. And we believe that education goes far beyond the four walls of a classroom. It goes far beyond just passing an exam to get a certificate, a degree, a diploma, or whatever paper it may be. Now, if you cannot use what you have learned in school, or rather if you cannot put into practice what you have learned, then that means the paper that you have is useless. If you can't use the information into practice, then it's useless. You see, a problem in any situation is where you have an opportunity to make a difference, to make things better, not just for yourself, but for everyone else around you. Hence, it is very vital that we are taught to become problem solvers, that we are taught to become innovators, rather than just sending out curriculum vitas. Now, whenever we are taught to think critically and creatively about ways that we can contribute something to this world and improve the quality of life. We are now actively involved in what I call problem solving. I personally think that it is really time we look into what we are taught in schools. I strongly believe that the skills gap is actually just a gap in education. Hence, here in our organization, in Bright Minds, we always emphasize that one needs to be educated and not schooled. This is because there's actually a difference between the two. Therefore, I urge you, don't let your school interfere with your education. You see, I think that the government, or rather our government, must now think of new ways in which they will unlock potential in learners. Education must now create value by teaching people to be problem solvers with a difference, to be problem solvers with purpose. You see, a problem solving technique in teaching can provide a vehicle for students to construct their own ideas and to take responsibility of their own learning. It provides students with opportunities to use their newly acquired knowledge in meaningful real life situations or other activities. Teachers can help students to develop the skills needed for problem solving by doing the following. Their culture, they should look into their culture. What kind of a culture are they creating in, 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 in their classrooms? Creating a culture of problem solving in a classroom or in a school as a whole, it involves prompting your learners, prompting your students to think a little differently. It involves shaping their mentality to lead. You see, what the world needs are more problem solvers. What the world needs are more innovators. For example, math, um, math um, students should in investigate the context, the meaning, and how math problems and concepts work in a particular situation, rather than just understanding the mechanics of mathematics. When students struggle with their work, it should be in a productive way. It should be in a way that it should be rather when they are in pursuit 
of solving a problem. There should be a sense of purpose in teaching. There should be a sense of purpose in our education system. Teaching with purpose requires more than just giving learners the information on the syllabus. As a teacher, you need to ask yourself why you are using that particular strategy, why you are using that particular strategy and whether it has proven to be effective. Are you going to class because you have to? Or do you plan ahead with purpose for your lessons? Do you have a sense of purpose in your teaching? Now to have a sense of purpose in your teaching, it takes purposeful thinking and purposeful planning. Teaching goes far beyond just standing in front of students and learners and just delivering information in hope of a paycheck at the end of the day. The goal, the goal for teaching should be to, to produce productive individuals who will exhibit a desire for learning. You know, someone once said that the illiterate of the future, it's not going to be a person who cannot read and write. The illiterate of the, of the future, rather, will be a person who is not willing to learn. Now, as a teacher, as an educator, as a parent, and you're listening to this, are you instilling a love for learning in your kids? Are you instilling a love for learning in your learners, in your students? You need to ask yourself such questions. You see, our education system seems to feed students with a lot of information and then they leave them to figure it out by themselves. Now having a sense of purpose in our education system is not reached without planning. There are plenty of programs that are in place to give more information to students. For example, we have winter schools, we have camps where students and learners get together and they get all of this information. But the problem is what we need in our education system is not more information. We have a lot of that. What we need is a day-to-day -day checks for understanding that should be a part of each and every lesson. As a teacher, as a lecturer, as a professor, after introducing information to students, what you should be concerned about is not that you have done your part as an educator. It's whether they understand what you just said or not. You see, we see a lot of a lot of teachers, a lot of lecturers who use strategies that are ineffective because there is no sense of purpose in them, yet they continue using these strategies over and over and over again. Now they are caught up in their day-to-day -day lessons that they forget why they are teaching the way they are teaching and whether their teaching routines are designed and assessed with a sense of purpose. You see, while we talk about the importance of education, we tend to forget the person who is actually receiving that education. Hence, we label learners for what they are and not who they are. We look at where they come from and not the possibility of where they can go. This is an evidence of a teaching system that lacks a sense of purpose. Teachers need to be asking the right questions, such as who are you? Why are you valuable in society? Which problems do you want to be solving? Teaching with purpose allows teachers to build students into who they really are and become who they are destined or who they were supposed to be. It shows them how to be problem solvers and how to create opportunities for themselves as well as how to contribute into our society. You see, our education system is failing us. We have a lot of graduates who are seated at home with their degrees. They have all of this knowledge, yet they can't use it. They are waiting for the government to do something for them. Well, let me tell you something. The government does not owe you anything. Go to school 
for the information, go to school for the knowledge. You hear a lot of people saying that knowledge is power. How true? Knowledge really is power. Information can change situations. So when you go to school as a learner, as a student, go to school to acquire that information. Don't go for that paper. And as a teacher, stand in front of students knowing that you are giving birth to problem solvers. You are giving birth to innovators. You are giving birth to world changers. Remember, education is important, but I'm not just referring to the paper. I'm referring to the knowledge itself. Thank you for lending me your ear and we shall continue. Please do visit our sites, Bright Minds, uh, it's www.brightminds.org and of course don't forget to download our social network on Google Play by visiting www, um, you can visit wwwbm dash elearning.co.za or just go to Google Play and search for Edgespace or Bright Minds. Thank you. Until next time, God bless you.